back eight. So I would say 15 with a full sweep is really close. Hadzi! Hadzi! 16, eight. Yeah, 15, two is really close. that tight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, it was a little wider, so I think this will run pretty nice. Zero point three eight one. Zero point three eight one. but that's okay, I'll look at the map. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Good start, good start really. Yeah. Good. 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 Really nice. Really nice. Seems, yeah, I'll, I'll just keep saying it out loud. Even then, theirs was a 15-5. They started a bit earlier, and it slipped. So it, it's around a 15 and a half for, for T. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's just watch rock placement here. Make sure we have a, a solid first. Yeah. Sounds good? Okay, let's go. Hey guys, welcome to the Stu Sells team's brand new listing. So go to stucells.ca, see all the photos, the videos, and give me Stu a call for a personal tour.
We are here at the RBC Bloor West Village branch, and I'm here with two of their best mortgage brokers, Keith Joel and Dave Thompson. RBC has been an amazing sponsor of my curling season for about 10 years. And Keith, why is it so important to be involved in the community and sponsor youth at sports? First of all, Stuart, it's been a fantastic 10 years. I'm so happy to be involved, and so is RBC. We enjoy being out there, meeting all the curlers, and having a lot of fun along the way. So thanks for that. I just want to say I'm with you. I'm a big supporter of the community, and I just want to let everyone know all my mortgages with RBC, all my accounts with RBC. It's an amazing bank. These are great mortgage brokers. So look, go to rbc.com and come into the Blur West Village branch and visit these great guys. Yeah, it looks like it was going. Yeah. Okay. What do we think? There's been a couple hits here. Okay. 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 This is a lot of ice, but I think that's okay for now. Really good sweep. It does finish. Yeah. Yeah, and I was a little slow. Yeah. 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 I don't, I mean, not that we should get into the habit, but I don't actually mind if you say a little more, then I just know I can like be Chris. But maybe later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keep pushing it, keep pushing it. That's a good shot. 
I didn't mind that. Yeah. Oh, good. You make the splits, you probably make the short Yeah. So she's always looking to play that tapping. This intern seems to be running just a hair slower. Able to push it. Definitely not as much curl here. Okay. Yeah. You can bite the floor. Yeah. Even full ace, great. That was a 13 7, so yeah. 15. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think a 15 will be really close. She threw a 13 7, it was hack, so what you think 14 8? 
Okay, okay, 14, 14, 8. Even's pretty good, full eight's good. to get off the four foot line. Yeah. A bit different coming this way and going that way. Oh, no. Great way. Just like this whole Never move. Yeah. Yeah. 14 six. Okay. Just hack. Yeah. Just good hack. draw to the button seemed a bit nicer and more gradual than, than those were. Yeah, yeah. But so did their draw to the button, so keep those in line. Um, I think we just go halfway to tight here. Leave yourself some room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two good ones. Hey guys, welcome to the Stew Cells team's brand new listing. So go to stewcells.ca, see all the photos, the videos, and give me Stu a call for a personal tour.
Good evening, curling fans. We are live here at the Barry Curling Club in the Stu Cells Tankard. Uh, we are joining the Kitazawa Daigle game here in the second end. Not only that, but we've got karaoke going live in the upstairs lounge here. And in the first end, Team Daigle scored one. My name is Melanie Hughes. I'm the manager here at the Barry Curling Club. It's a big week for us here at the club. As Team Kitazawa expects, we'll be trying to make a play around these center guards. was able to hear what the players were saying during the first end. We had a bit of technical difficulty on our end, but we are cooking with gas now, as they say, Cole tells me. Uh, it seems like the players were getting used to the ice, the amount of curl. Speed has been consistent, from what I understand, across most games from start to finish. Split on that rock in the top 12 by second Marley yeah. Powers. Yeah. It's either that or we're, we're ripping the corner and, and rolling in. I, I think going that way was. A yeah. Nice shot there by Team Kitazawa. Didn't get both red rocks out, but right, certainly moved one spot. into a less desirable spot. Rock there was well swept by Lindsay Burgess, but didn't quite get past the guard there. We'll see what Team Kitazawa does next. I don't believe they meant to move that now shot rock back quite so far, but a uh, good shot there. As Jessica Daigle wants to uh, play a hit and roll, roll behind cover here. And this is Mary McKetton Driscoll. Hurt. Clean. 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 
Nice shot there. She didn't roll behind cover, but never hurts one. to have more of your stones in the house than the opponents. Yeah, it's okay. We can wait. That is a tricky shot to get right. Well executed though, nice weight. Just got more of a roll than they expected. Degla would like to uh, like bury one girl. behind that yellow guard here. Yeah. yeah, exactly. The aim is always to get two when you have hammer, so that'll leave them lying too. If you're just tuning in here, we've got the Stu Cells tankered on here at the Barry Curling Club and the Stu Cells Junior tankered. It's been fun to see the junior teams uh, playing alongside some of these uh, men's and women's teams. And a thrill to see such elite level uh, athletes here at our club. You know, a lot of our members have been uh, out here watching games and trying to, uh, I think through osmosis is how they're gonna pick up some, uh, some new curling skills. Our leagues haven't started quite yet. there when she planned to be probably top four or so. Um, so they're wondering if the rock maybe grabs something on the ice. And that could be debris on the ice or a shoe mark or gripper mark or something like that. We've had essentially beach weather uh, all week here in Barrie, Ontario. So um, our ice makers, uh, our ice technician, Brian Brown, earlier today said he thought his hair might stop slipping off the front of his forehead uh, here now that the weather has cooled off a bit. But certainly earlier in the week was a was a there challenge. Girl, that must have hit. Like I That's it just jumped. And it like slowed off spot. Yeah. The four ten short, so I'm not Yeah. Yeah. Totally different path. And a little heavy hand. 
hand there on the draw. I think the exact same, honestly. Yeah. Seems like the players might still be getting used to uh, getting used to the speed here. We might have some uh, very speed or uh, release sensitive paths on the ice. Okay. So the same? Yeah. The other thing is too is we could take this out turn. No, I I like this. I think it's Jessica gets a chance to uh, make the draw around the guards here again. Always hope your skip has draw weight in her pocket. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, totally different path. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And heavy again in that path, slightly outside uh, the last rock thrown by Kitazawa. Yeah. Pretty quick down there. Very similar. Very, very similar. Yeah. Okay. Good throw. Yeah, I just think the first one was. I don't. I don't think. I think if you threw that again, it would have been fine. I think it picked. And you can hear the Dagle team there discussing a. a possibility of a pick that's it's always hard to be absolutely sure as a curler when you have something like that happen if it did affect your rock or not Just something to plant in your head Shot by Kui Kitazawa there oh, to score one. Oh, it's a long one. on that. Hey, okay, like, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, I think like we were saying, we threw a draw on that first one, and I and I liked it. Yeah. At the Berry Curling Club. Uh, just a note of thanks to uh, event sponsor Stuart Sankey of Stu Sells Realty. Um, the sport of curling couldn't ask for a better supporter than Stu Sankey. Um, he's a he's an amazing curling fan and very generous with his uh, time, talent, and treasures, as they say. And he, you can see all kinds of teams out here this weekend with Stu Sells sponsorship logos on their on their jackets and Stu Sells Realty team. Uh, logos in the ice here at the Barry Curling Club even and uh, like I say the sport of curling is uh, better to have Stu Sankey in it so many thanks to him for his support. As Team Kitazawa I expect will be throwing up a center guard here. Stops in the free guard zone. Expect that is in the free guard zone because Top Team Tego is going behind. Two, three. Two. That's going to 
come up short of the rings. No, she's light. Yeah. It's also just a little slower on that side. Yeah. Just a little slower. Like mine was slower this way. Yeah. Nice shot there by Team Kitazawa. Eight, eight feet more. This yeah. team was uh, in the club this week to practice for a few days before the event started. Exactly the result they were hoping for there, but not a bad thing to move the uh, the Kitazawa rock out of the forefoot um, and into the back of the house there. Suzuki just threw a nice, like nice shot there, nice draw, but like half buried. Yeah. Team Daigle's going to go after it with a draw weight shot, about T-line is what the skipper asked for. See if they can move that around a bit and get their own rock buried behind the guards. extra weight they didn't get the finish that they were hoping for there terms of weight um, as a club curler golly I'd be tempted to try a double there but uh, these curlers are much better than me and they're going to try something more sensible with the run back OK, 
Okay, Marley Powers cleared out. Uh, yeah, that's better though. Cleared out a center guard there. Gives them better access to those two Kitazawa stones in the house. Yeah, no, it's definitely better. We can run that in too. And leaves their own guard yeah. out on the center line there. And a well-placed guard there by Team Kitazawa. Team Daigle again is going to try and clear that out. Mission accomplished there. Nice little tap shot there. Team Daigle's gonna go after that little sea of yellow stones there. Move some granite. I expect we'll be some we'll see some pretty big weight here for Mary McCutton Driscoll. <laughs> nice shot. Great shot. Poof! They're sitting three. One of the great things about hosting a uh, junior event alongside a men's and women's event is the uh, the entourage of folks that come with inevitably come with junior teams. We've got an uh, enthusiastic crowd of folks here with uh, one of the junior teams just watching the watching the game right near the booth. Touched all three reds there. My brother-in-law, I am told, called the triple. I think it was there. Remember, it just like Chong, and you ended 
it up like here. I just rode the four foot line. Yeah. yeah. I think the same, really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Give her the double, but leave it a different angle on it. Yeah. Yeah. Here's great. Yeah. I think Jessica Daigle is going to be trying to draw to the top four. Biting the top four would be great. Yeah. There's a chance if it hangs out, she's going to set up a double. So I think she'd like to get part of her uh, part yeah. of her shooter buried behind 15. that center guard. Yeah, 14-8 four, on my one that just hung right on that line. Yeah, it, it's just barely. You can probably go always, I would say, on the outside. Struggle to get past that okay. top rock there. Well, it does still have the effect of guarding their shot stone and forcing Kitazawa to make a play elsewhere. I think you get rid of that one. What's that? I think you get rid of that one. Yeah. I've just gotten a message that our viewers can sort of hear the karaoke going on up here. Um, I do love a microphone and karaoke. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing. Well, let's not rule it out just yet. Team Kitazawa, you're okay here with leaving a raise like this okay. for the opposition. It's not a not a walk in the park. Jessica Dago went and proved me wrong there. For a nice two. Hey guys, welcome to the Stu Cells team's brand new listing. So go to stucells.ca, see all the photos, the videos, and give me Stu a call for a personal tour.
We are here at the RBC Bloor West Village branch, and I'm here with two of their best mortgage brokers, Keith Joel and Dave Thompson. RBC has been an amazing sponsor of my curling season for about 10 years. And Keith, why is it so important to be involved in the community and sponsor youth at sports? First of all, Stuart, it's been a fantastic 10 years. I'm so happy to be involved, and so is RBC. We enjoy being out there, meeting all the curlers, and having a lot of fun along the way. So thanks for that. I just want to say I'm with you. I'm a big supporter of the community, and I just want to let everyone know all my mortgages with RBC, all my accounts with RBC. It's an amazing bank. These are great mortgage brokers. So look, go to rbc.com and come into the Blur West Village branch and visit these great guys. Welcome back to the Stu Sells Tanker here at the Barry Curling Club in Barry, Ontario. Again, my name is Melanie. I'm the manager here at the Barry Curling Club, and it is such a treat uh, to see these teams playing on our own home ice. Yes, we're here playing the fourth end. In this match with uh, Team Akui Kitazawa playing Jessica Daigle. Daigle just scored two with Hammer in the third. And I expect Kitazawa would like to return the favor. All that and someone about to tackle a Keith Urban song on the karaoke. If you're in the Barry area, come on down. Come on down to the Barry Curling Club. We've got karaoke on the go. We've got elite level curling to watch. Bars open. Top 12! What more could you ask for on a Saturday night? Top 4! Marley! <laughs> Just have to get confirmation of the day of the week. Marley! It's been a long week, you guys leading up to this event. Takes a lot of, you know the saying, okay, many just short, hands just short, just short. make light work. And we, we took many hands and we did a lot of hard work to get okay. ready for this, but uh, all worth it to see these folks on the ice here. Well I promised I wouldn't sing, but if they keep coming out with Keith Urban and Bon Jovi and stuff, it might happen. Okay, and Cole, who's here in the booth, said he just saw Keith Urban live recently. It is, he puts on a really good show. I've seen him a few times as well. Team Kinsel is working hard for this hit and roll. I think they're going to roll past that center guard. All right, well controlled weight there. Marley Powers is hard, hard. Ooh, they got a sweep hard for this. Right out. Good sweep, Lindsay. And a thank you to the sweeper Lindsay Burgess there for getting, getting enough out. of that rock to get it out. Was I huh? We do have action on all seven sheets here at the Barry Curling Club tonight. And again after this game tonight, six draws tomorrow, and then championships on uh, on a Monday. Well, this Thanksgiving weekend.
Love to get something buried here and near the center line. Hard, Lynn, you got a good one. Hard. Keep going, keep going, Lynn, keep going, never off, never off, keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Good okay, good, good. Great good. sweep by Lindsay Burgess there. A great way to obviously uh, cut down the scoring area there. Is that like back eight? It's so hard to tell for. Oh, okay. Fighting back four? Yeah. It finished really hard. Yeah. It's, I can see since our ice team uh, still has work to do yet tonight, they're here in the upstairs lounge taking a well deserved break and uh, making fun of me from where they're sitting. I think they're enjoying the karaoke equally as much as Cole and I. But I don't think we're gonna have time to go sing Cole. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be a nice shot here by Team Kitazawa. If they can get the finish on the curl there. <laughs> Lovely shot. going to get the curl they're hoping for here with Where? back eight weight. Go through, go through, straight. Kate, Kate, you're fine. That's out. shot there this end is uh, has the look and feel of a of a mixed doubles end here lots of play in the forefoot Kitazawa so far set up well try and score two team conference here to talk about this next shot. <laughs> You'd hate for multiple points to sneak up on you. Yeah, so basically like this big gray line is in this, like that's in the middle. So this is the team down there. So it's hard to gauge, but. They, they, may, they may try to sink another and then I'll have to try to play the slosh. It is good, but it's just like so hard. 
I, I just think if you do this, you're kind of opening it up to, to, for them to have access. Yeah, even if you just peel the guard, they have to replace it perfectly. It's hard yeah, to Yeah, we don't have hammer though. Yeah. You, you, risk, you risk setting up a double. The, the run is probably always getting rid of this is the only problem. Yeah. The challenge here. The thing is, if, if you make a good one here, eventually we might be able to come into this side. They're, they're going to have to deal with it too, though. Three, three rocks left. I, I think that's the call. Yeah. Just going to say the challenge here is figuring out uh, how to yeah, limit Kitazawa to two at most, preferably one, and what kind of play to make that keeps your own redstone in the back of the house there. They don't want to end up with uh, yellow sitting three. That was a great discussion between Jessica Dago and Mary McKet and Driscoll. Stay close. Top four. Top four. I think you can go a bit, Lindsay. Whoa! Top four! Marley! Top four! Hurt! Hurt! <laughs> Gotta move that one. Gotta move that one. Okay. okay, and they've changed the angles around a bit there. Not bad. Yeah, it gives the side a little bit Opens up. Four, four foot's yeah. more accessible to them, which is good. There's a pocket there that's accessible to the uh, to the Daigle team. Uh, just kind of like they hail from the Halifax area, yeah. Nova Scotia. Yeah. It'll it'll always come to the backside. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. There. Yeah. You like that? Pro probably enough to squirt it though, Marley. Like it, it probably always know, comes here. Out of the forefoot. I'm just thinking, like, if you leave it here, are they going to be able to nose it and get rid of, like, or hit his high side and, like, probably get rid of it? Well, I guess I, I was just seeing, like, back eight. Okay, yeah, I like it. Just enough to push it out. Yeah. And then it, ca it this one comes And out. if you over curl and straight draw, that's fine. Great, yeah. Great. Yep. Like, there. Yeah, it runs pretty straight. Yeah, dead straight. Okay. Back eight. Yep. Yeah. If we can move that yellow one out of the forefoot, it should always redirect right into the pocket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Easy on this line, run dead straight on this forefoot line.
sweep. Definitely a miscue there from uh, Jessica Daigle, wrecking on the guard there instead of getting into that, uh, into the pocket there in the forefoot. I'll ask her, yeah. She might want that one back. Yeah, yeah, close. But still several rocks to come this end. So going into this game, Team Kitazawa was sitting at 3-0. and They're quite likely to make playoffs in this event. Team Daigle's one and one, so they'd really love to come out of here with the win. Increase their chances of getting to the playoffs. What a shot. Just to tap that red daigle rock out of the forefoot. And there's just a mess of yellow stones for the facing the daigle team in the forefoot there. And a reminder while the Daigle team discusses how to approach this next shot of theirs. If you're in the Berry area, we've currently got karaoke going upstairs at the Berry Curling Club here on Essa Road. They're playing Tragically Hip. There's curling going on, bars open. Can you think of a better Saturday night? Or a more Canadian Saturday night? Well, there's a Colts game in town. <laughs> One of our broadcasters is working it. Not to be deterred, we continue with our curling coverage here at the Stew Sales Tankard. So if you've seen any of the other uh, streaming coverage here or been to the club, You'll see we are well supported by sponsors local to our community. The sheet we're highlighting tonight is sponsored by Sharp Hearing. Andrew and Tracy Sharp are members here, curlers here. And we thank them for their support. I can keep doing Barry Curling Club commercials all night, Cole. <laughs> All right, we're going to see some granite move here.
Kitazawa sits two after that. Again, this end really has a mixed doubles end okay. type of it's feel to it. More than we thought. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of rocks in and around the forefoot. And Kitazawa has a... Okay. Yeah, I suspect really cool. they'll just do a straight yeah. draw for three. As we come near the end of our fourth end here. You got it. Ikui Kitazawa drawing for three. Three. And as Vic Ryder would say, count them up. One, two, three for Team Kitazawa in the fourth end. Hey guys, welcome to the Stew Sells team's brand new listing. And we are out here in Waterdown. And you know what? If you are sick and tired of being in the city, you know, we all love Toronto. I love Toronto, but you know what? Maybe it's a little bit too crowded. Maybe there's a little bit too much gridlock. Maybe there's no place to walk and go see cool stuff. So come on out to Waterdown. It's awesome. Beautiful little village you can walk, great shops, cafes. We have the Waterdown Memorial Park just over the street. It's got a splash pad, baseball diamond. It's got a skateboarding thing for kids. We have a huge Fortino's. I was in there today getting flowers. It's crazy, that story. It's unbelievable. So you have bike paths and you have the Bruce Trail and you have a ton of parks. And we're in this lovely, quiet little subdivision. And look behind me, just say, freaking gorgeous. This house is spectacular. Custom built, beautiful finishes. We have decor black stainless steel appliances, quartz counters throughout, three quarter inch white oak hardwood floor, ceramic tile. You want light, you want windows, you want bright. This house is gorgeous, super modern, open concept main floor, living, dining. It's got a butler's pantry, this office on the main floor. Upstairs we have three bedrooms and you know what? Every bedroom gets their own bathroom. And the master has a steam glass shower in it with a beautiful soaker tub. It's just luxury, luxury, high-end, luxury, high-end, luxury, high-end. This home is gorgeous. So go to StuSells.ca, see all the photos, the videos, and give me, Stu, a call for a personal tour.
And we're back here at the Barry Curling Club. In the fifth end of the game with the Kui Kitazawa versus Jessica Daigle here at the Barry Curling Club and the Stu Sells Tankard. And I just did my best Vicar Utter impression and nobody from TSN has called yet. Can you believe that? <laughs> and a number of rocks in play here already early in the end. This team Kitazawa leads 4-3. shot. Well, this is not the only exciting game going on tonight. We've got six other sheets of curling on the go. And one more full draw of, I believe, at least six sheets here at our seven sheet club. I believe our seven sheet club here in Barrie, Ontario is uh, pretty unique. I did meet uh, John Schuster earlier, said he'd only seen one other one in his travels before for a guy who's won the Olympics is probably a lot of travels. Um, I think he said it was in Minnesota. Or should I say Minnesota? Another center guard there. Just about nearly got both rocks out there, but that's fine. Primary mission achieved there to get the to get the guard off. see this pattern go on for a couple more rocks yet. Kitazawa puts up the guard. As the words come out of my mouth, Jessica Dago calls for the double. Which is partly why I'm up here and they're down whoa, there. Whoa, whoa. Nice shot. Nice throw. Really good. Well controlled weight there. Well managed by the whole team. Great shot.
you have either? I think she's thinking the draw. Can you can you taste? Looks better with the out. Take the guard, take the guard. Or were you just seeing straight? shot by Mary McKenna Driscoll there. They were hoping to still have a, one of their own red rocks it's in the no house, lie, but to be just bang on yeah. to it to as I say, primary objective achieved. Yeah, that's what I think that it looked close for the chase. It looked close to the outturn, but not, it was, it was minimum. Yeah. Just a little heavy handed on the draw there. Guys, I can't tell you how big a distraction the karaoke tunes are. That's Jessica Dago. We'll try to plant one behind that guard. They'd love to score two here because they have hammer. shot. Once again, these teams showing uh, great discipline, always picking the perfect weight for these tap shots. And a perfect little roll behind the guard. They are behind the tee line, so there's room for uh, Jessica Daigle to get one in front of that rock. And sit in scoring position. 
相手の最後の測りなかった。
We're back. Sixth end here at the Stu Cells Tankard in Barrie, Ontario. Kitazawa already set up well with two rocks. In the house there and about to put up a center guard. For those keeping track at home, the karaoke continues. For my mother, who just texted me and said she hopes I do sing karaoke, it's okay. I'll put the I'll put the earphones down before I do that. Team Daigle has a chance here to uh, clear out some yellow. Looking to hit and roll behind their own corner guard. Which will set them up well for the two that they'll surely be looking for. at the roll they were hoping for. A little too far. And Skipakui Kitazawa here is looking to get one fully buried behind that center guard. Which will certainly make Team Jessica Daigle's life a little more complicated. Swept rock there, but uh, Jessica Daigle's going to look for she's going to look to put one on the T line here. Buried would be good, and Lindsay Burgess is going to work to make sure it gets there. Nice brushing by Lindsay Burgess and Mary McKenna Driscoll there.
just a little tap here on that redstone top four. And a well-made shot here will set them up nicely. And a great shot by Mary McKenna Driscoll there. Nice touch, sweepers on and off all the way down. You can tell they really wanted to sweep more. The skipper called them off. Great result. Looks like this game is attracting a crowd down there. Line. Copy! Yes, line! Hard line! 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 Hard line! Back four! Hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back four. Whoa. Watch the shooter, Marley. Watch it. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Okay. And you can see as this game progresses on the club front, we, you'll see our ice staff probably go in and out of frame there, doing some work to get the ice ready for the next draw. It's a busy weekend here with the Stu Cells event. We've got the Stu Cells tankard, Stu Cells junior tankard. If you were watching either of the earlier two draws, Stu, Stu Sankey was even commentating. He's a busy guy, great fan of the sport. So you can see the hubbub in our lounge down there. As Cole and I are upstairs with the bar and the karaoke and we can't do any of it. But we're happily watching Curly. If Akui Kitazawa gets the hit and the exact role that she's looking for here, I'm not 100% sure if she'll be shot. If she's not, she's certainly going to make it very difficult for Jessica Dale to score two. Thought better of trying to get that perfect roll Dookie. there. <laughs> Those didn't get, they didn't get the finish they were hoping for. Like kind of here. I think it's pretty good. 
It, it's going to hang on the line until it doesn't, I think, like there. Yeah, e even if we just whisk her off of it. I was thinking just on the four, just kind of right there. Yeah. It'll hang on this line here. Just inside. Jessica Daigle's going to aim to just plant her rock right in the forefoot there. Hopefully partly buried through the port. Okay. Yep. I'd say nothing to it, but I've had to try these before. Well, I'm not good like Jessica Daigle, so <laughs> it wasn't for the faint of heart. bad there, but uh, mm. Lindsay Burgess really had to sweep <laughs> most of the way for line. They're maybe struggling to get the broom in the exact right spot. No, Kumi Kitazawa didn't get past the guard there. And Jessica Dago can try that same shot again through the port. Worth a try. Now, where Kitazawa's shooter roll certainly made that draw. Not too much. Like this ice is good. Not necessarily harder, but it looks harder from where that uh, shooter is now we sitting in front of the, the end, eh? yellow touching the I, eight foot. I see it, but it's no, the full in. Like this? We just have to go wider than we've been. We could also play this. I think that's close, honestly. Yeah, you don't like that tap tap? It's not bad either. Yeah. Like, I think if you throw the same weight that you just threw, Jess, that's that tap tap. Have ever played the tap on the yellow or the red? Yeah. Clearly having second super thoughts about trying that draw again now. You could also play that in turn really thin. 
The yellow looks that. good. It just yeah. hitting it a thin, right? Yeah. I think that's probably yeah, the port. The port looks like hard. I mean, this like intern draw is hard. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I don't think yeah. it's there. That yellow red looks easier to me. Yeah, I think so too. The push it what you can see with like the same weight you just threw. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Marley Powers in the house, yeah. <laughs> wisely pointing flex. out that there's several options for shots here. They talked about uh, trying to draw again, playing a little hit, or this tap, and they've chosen what they think is the so back eight to be close. more makeable shot. Wise choice always. Mar Marley thought that one was back 12, but I think, I think similar. So this is a tap on yellow onto red for two. Yep. Yep. Hard. Yep. Hard. Yes. Hard. 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 The weight looked good there again, just uh, struggling to get the broom in the right place for the weight she was going to throw. The eternal struggle of all close. curlers. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just not throwing it pure. Yeah. 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 It was good. Good yeah. four. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. Sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. And we're back here in the seventh end of the Stew Cells Tankard in a tight game between Jessica Daigle and Akui Kitazawa. Team Kitazawa one up with Hammer here in the seventh. I know just as we went to break, the Daigle team was talking about whether to uh, whether to try and force, which would send them into the eighth end down two, but with hammer. Line's good, line's good. Just to my bro. 
or whether to try and steal. Hard, Marley. Hard, hard, hard. Hard. Okay, good spot, good spot. Okay, good. Nice shot by the lead of Team Kidazawa over there. Okay. Two nice shots. Struggle to get finish on rocks out Jess here. Lindsay, Jess Lindsay. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, you got it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, okay. Great brushing by Lindsay Burgess there. The Kui kid is always going to call to uh, get the front of the house, in front of the house, I should say, cleared out. Catch your rocks before they enter the uh, your friend's playing area on the next sheet. Yeah. <laughs> well, line's good. Lindsay. Lindsay. You gotta hold it! Whoa! No, 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 gotta sit, gotta sit. Bagel. What? We're red. You, you just took them off. Good. That was us, yeah. <laughs> really slid. So here at the Berry Curling Club, we are huh? blessed to have amazing volunteers. <laughs> what do you and mean? sometimes they're so keen to do their job that uh, they get a little bit ahead of themselves. So we'll get that scoreboard rebuilt for them. But yes, it is. As Team Kitazawa clears off the two red cards there.
Reminder, if you happen to be in the Barry area, you could be experiencing all this ah! live with some Again. tunes on Again. in the background Again. here at the Barry Curling Club at 175 Essen Road. Where we are very excited to be hosting this Stu Cells Tankard and Stu Cells Junior Tankard. And Jessica Daigle is going to call for that red rock to be replaced. Little tighter. Line's good. Whoa. Got a curl. Got a curl. Got a curl. Hard, Marley. Hard, Marley. Got a cross. Got a cross. Got a cross. Great brushing once again by this Daigle team. He he took the score down. <laughs> well, I don't know what it was. I don't know. What it was, yeah. He's like moving across, moving all the scores up. He's gonna have to put it back up. I think we have nothing. They're just going to have a conversation now about uh, putting the score back up. Should work out to not that. Okay. I think they've got that put back together. Hold the line a bit. Line's good. Line's good. Line's, Line's good. good. Whoa, Mary. Okay, clean. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Just clean. Just clean. Oh, oh. Good. Nice shot. Good judge. Well placed shot by yeah. Jessica Daigle there. <laughs> good. Yeah. Oh, we show her this side. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. 
So Team Kitazawa here is looking for like a T-line weight tap on their yellow rock touching the center line at the top of the forefoot. sets this rock out. I just want to make special mention of our of our team here at the Very Curling Club. You can see our ice team working away in the background there to get sheets ready for the next draw. Yes, there's more curling after this. Some sheets have started. So I'm not yet as clearly we're in we're in the seventh end here. Our ice team led by Brian Brown has worked very hard all week to get the ice ready for this event and they keep working hard throughout. It's a six draw day today and another one tomorrow. And then the playoffs on Monday. Many thanks to them. And of course, our food and beverage crew here. Again, you guys, if you're in Barry, get your tush down here. The drinks are cold, the food's hot, the karaoke is karaokeing, as it does. And as you can once again spy in the background in our main floor lounge there, Curlers doing the quintessential pregame stretches and limbering up. We had uh, Dr. Chris Grant here, who's a uh, chiropractic and physiotherapy uh, practitioner here in Barrie. Uh, to offer some services for the for the athletes here, and he came in a couple days ago and was uh, uh, let's say overwhelmed by uh, the number of people doing you know arm circles and leg swings and all that stuff all at once. It's a bit of a scene actually <laughs> before a draw goes on. The stuff athletes do, eh? eh?
Oh, nice sh shot there by uh, Kui Kitazawa. Team Daigle doesn't hate it though, forcing them to one. And Daigle will have Hammer down two though, but with Hammer as we go into the eighth end. Hey guys, welcome to the Stu Sells team's brand new listing. So go to stucells.ca, see all the photos, the videos, and give me Stu a call for a personal tour. We are here at the RBC Bloor West Village branch, and I'm here with two of their best mortgage brokers, Keith Joel and Dave Thompson. RBC has been an amazing sponsor of my curling season for about 10 years. And Keith, why is it so important to be involved in the community and sponsor youth at sports? First of all, Stuart, it's been a fantastic 10 years. I'm so happy to be involved, and so is RBC. We enjoy being out there, meeting all the curlers, and having a lot of fun along the way. So thanks for that. I just want to say I'm with you. I'm a big supporter of the community, and I just want to let everyone know all my mortgages with RBC, all my accounts with RBC. It's an amazing bank. These are great mortgage brokers. So look, go to rbc.com and come into the Bloor West Village branch and visit these great guys. Hey guys, welcome to the Stu Sells team's brand new listing. And we are out here in Waterdown. And you know what? If you are sick and tired of being in the city, you know, we all love Toronto. I love Toronto, but you know what? Maybe it's a little bit too crowded. Maybe there's a little bit too much gridlock. Maybe there's no place to walk and go see cool stuff. So come on out to Waterdown. It's awesome. Beautiful little village. You can walk, great shops, cafes. We have the Waterdown Memorial Park just over the street. It's got a splash pad, baseball diamond. It's got a skateboarding thing for kids. We have a huge Portino's. I was in there today getting flowers. It's crazy, that story. It's unbelievable. So you have bike paths and you have the Bruce Trail and you have a ton of parks. And we're in this lovely, quiet little subdivision. And look behind me, just say freaking gorgeous. This house is spectacular. Custom built, beautiful finishes. We have decor black stainless steel appliances, quartz counters throughout, three quarter inch white oak hardwood floor, ceramic tile. You want light, you want windows, you want bright. This house is gorgeous, super modern, open concept main floor, living, dining. It's got a butler's pantry. This office on the main floor. Upstairs we have three bedrooms and you know what? Every bedroom gets their own bathroom. And the master has a steam glass shower in it with a beautiful soaker tub. It's just luxury, luxury, high-end, luxury, high-end, luxury, high-end. This home is gorgeous. So go to stucells.ca, see all the photos, the videos, and give me Stu a call for a personal tour. And we're back for the eighth end here of uh, the Kitazawa Daigle match here at the Stu Sells Tankard at the Barry Curling Club. Kitazawa is up two points. Team Daigle is hammer. I'm going to try and bury a rock in the wings there, which would be their second point if all goes to plan. Even better would be their third point. Beautiful hit and roll there by Minori Suzuki. Some nights you just can't do anything wrong. That was a great shot.
So once again, if you're in the Barrie area, I just got a weather alert on my phone from the Weather Network. Oh, oh, Heavy oh, rainfall. Oh, There's lady, not anything else lady. you're going to want to do tomorrow but be at the Horn. Horn. club. Horn! Horn! Gotta go! Horn! It just looked like it hit a soft spot. Yeah, really, really good. Team Kitazawa clearing off the off the free guard zone there. Yeah, Trying to keep things simple. I just don't want to leave ours close together so they can get rid of both of them. Up two and sitting three. Yeah. Not a bad situation to be in. They don't need a guard. I just don't want to group ours. What's that? I just don't want to group ours. No. This is I, I think if we're playing this, you got to play with a little bit of weight. Yeah. We, we got to move this out of the four. Yeah, like. Even if you threw like a 12. You don't have to kill it. J just move it out of the four. Yeah, and I think we want to dead stop this on here. Yeah. And stay like here. Right on top. Yeah. I like that. Dead, dead nose is okay. Hair high is okay. Yeah. Yeah. A 12. So like half? Yeah. Okay. Great discussion there between Jessica Daigle and Marley Powers. I think the out again. Like hack. Um, we want a nose or a hair low. Just try to bump those behind the T-line. So they want to get some yellow Half out weight. of the forefoot. shot by Marley Powers there. You could hear the person in the house and the person who'd thrown the stone giving the sweepers different directions as ever. As most of us who've, uh, well, if you've uh, weight, had some coaching in the sport of curling, you're always told, listen to the person in the house. So well done there by the by the sweepers. Yeah. Yeah. Years ago my sister and I played together. We have basically the same voice. So that was difficult <laughs> for our teammates. And did we ever agree online? No. going to try and yeah. move some yellow around here yeah. with draw weight to improve the angles for Team Daigle here. Try and set up for a score of at least two. Line's good. Back, back eight. Back Line's eight. good. Back eight. Back eight. I think Team Kitazawa can get this red out. 
They might have to sacrifice one of their own stones, but up two, it's no big deal. Jam there. And a chance for Team Dangle to sit two here. Well, there's not any guards out front. So whatever they do, it's going to be open to Team Kitazawa. So they're going to really have to. Yeah, the team's coming down to have a discussion about this. You want to really plan this out. Think a few rocks ahead. I don't think so. They're throwing five and a half second heels. Yeah. Like, that's gone. So, um, just if we do this, what, what do they do? Blast? Yeah. Do you think they both go? Yeah. If we give them a chance to give them both? So, if we put it high side, so do you, do you like... I know what you mean. If you've been dead for well, we we have great. to be second somewhere. Yeah. This is your last. They have to deal with it. The the threes and play with a dead freeze. Yeah, they can. So what what do we like? They're, they're gonna run whatever we put in the house. I don't, I don't hate this. I think if, if we're not second shot, yeah, it's tough. they're gonna blast. Yeah. If we're close enough to be second shot, they're gonna have a double. Exactly. Team's still chatting about it. Because if we ever land here, that's, decided, that's uh, easy. But I mean, if we're here and they have to blast, like they're she'll gonna throw whatever out, Skipper tells her to do. Eventually we're gonna have to play it. Like if we're here, they could just hit it, but then we're still shot, and then we just hit, 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 and then they're gonna have to blast at some point. Yeah. Th this is two shots, right, to get out? Maybe. I think it'll go. It is gonna kill this, and then yeah. it gives us more space. We need to have that other rock in. So here? Yeah. I think it doesn't need to be second. Okay. I don't think it does. So so we want full eight. Yeah, even. Okay. Even. Yeah. You don't need to be second, just even with the other one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Lindsay. T line back four. There it goes. Top four. Where? Top four. T line. Whoa, whoa, no. whoa. Trying. Go ahead, Lindsay. Go ahead. Go deep. Go deep. Go deep. Go deep. Go deep. Go deep. Good. Okay. Good shot. And I think Team Dago would have liked yeah. for that to have been to have I, been I a bit higher, but they weren't hard. getting enough curl yeah. to prevent uh, setting up a double for, for Team sure Kitazawa, as they no they've noted yeah. the hitting capabilities of this team. Yeah, I think the, the, it's there's hard. no there's defense like, for that kind of offense. Of three. Though, because like it is a little on the inside, so like if they're trying that double, yeah, like it's not gonna go. Right. Okay, cool. Move it slow. Mm. 
On Thursday night curling here at the Barry Curling Club, if one person drops a broom, everybody drops a broom. I'm not sure if that's to center of the person who first dropped their broom or to make them feel less embarrassed about it, but it's a tradition. So Team Jessica Daigle has to make a different play now. They can't freeze to the shooter just left by Team Kitazawa because they won't be second shot. So they're going to freeze to their on own. The inside. As Jessica said, just a pinch on the inside of their shot rock. Just a pinch on the inside. Sit to and hope for the look best. look at that jam. Yeah. If we can say one inch on it, it should always go on to that yellow. So 15. Okay. Okay, let's lock it on. not need separation of their rocks there. They wanted those welded 39. together. Uh. Oh my. That was a very Nova Scotia sounding, oh my, okay. from Jessica there. Oh That's going to do it for Team Kitazawa. And they'll move to 4-0, and which I believe is the last of their uh, pool games. Team Dago will sit at 1-2, and two, and they'll need to win their next game to, uh, to hope to get into the playoffs. Thanks for joining us here at the Barry Curling Club for the Stew Cells Tankard. Have a great night.